Hi, today we're honored and privileged to have a Lasalle figure uh, to be part of our show. Uh, Coach Derek Manong Umaren uh, first started as the coach of the De La Salle, the first UAP team of De La Salle University. And this was 30 years ago. Um, and uh, more than, yeah, 30 years ago. And in the next upcoming season of the UAP, whenever it will start, we do not know. Some say it's in February, sometime in, some say it's middle of the year, but whenever it's gonna be ready, the LaSalle community will be assured that we will have somebody who is a brainy, a, a, a coach that understands statistics, who, who is a great builder of a team who knows how to recruit. And this is Coach Derek Manong Pumaren. Good day, Coach Pumaren. How are you? Good, 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 good day. Hello. <laughs> Yeah, nice so to what, be here. <laughs> what have you been doing during this uh, COVID season? Season. Well, so as a team, uh, it's uh, still that we're still on Zoom online training, and okay. uh, since then, last year, Pam, I think uh, we started April, right after the the lockdown. We started kami ng, ng training and uh, we're ready to go, you know, anytime uh, that we're allowed to go face to face, we're already ready to go. Joining us or joining us also today is the um, sports writer of Animal Magazine. He's also the, uh, I also see him interviewing NBA players uh, for Rappler. Um, let me introduce our, our, our guest co-host, Naveen Ganglani. How are you, Naveen? Hi, Albert. Thank you for having me. Also, greetings to Coach Derek Pumarin. I hope it's okay. I say both of you look very fresh, very handsome on this <laughs> Sunday morning. <laughs> uh, I think we're all looking good uh, because we're excited na holiday bukas, no work, right? So, iba yung <laughs> feeling in the air pag walang pasok. But I'm very happy to be here. Thank you for the kind introduction. And I'm sure that you, Albert, like Coach Derek Manung here, uh, who I've had the privilege to interview a few times uh, the last few months. I'm sure we're all excited for the return of the UAAP. It feels like we're closer than we've been since the start of the pandemic, at the least. And, you know, like what Coach Derek said, we're just waiting for the go sign for when trainings can start, when classes can start. Uh, because I think, Coach Derek, I believe uh, it's true that, you know, at the end of the day, we can't have UAAP games if we're face-to-face classes on students, right? Because ultimately, they're students before athletes. But it seems like we're progressing towards positive movement and hopefully we keep go getting there. Uh, Coach, my first question. Let's, let's rewind 30 years ago. When you were, you, when you were chosen as the, the first coach of the De La Salle UAP team, right? this is after we, we left the NCAA and now we're with the UAP. Uh, you were still a very young, very young uh, coach, diba? Um, yeah. Can you still remember how you felt like when the responsibility was given to you? Well, well actually, uh, when uh, when I uh, graduated 83 you know, uh, in La Salle, um, I was already an assistant coach of uh, Ron Jacobs then, um, back then sa NCC for the national team. And then uh, 84, uh, I handled the LaSalle. No? I took over from uh, Coach Waki Trillo. So from 84, I uh, was trying to build up the team na. Uh, kasama ko si Atty. Ding Lasan as the, the team manager. And then uh, ang assistant manager namin din was like uh, Freddy Mendoza. I don't know if you hear about Fred. Yes, uh, we know Fred. So, yeah, so we, we tried to build up. We start uh, joining uh, Pikua, MMBL. Dahil, uh, we've been trying to to uh, to 
enter UAP pero marami di ba medyo I think uh, kailangan lahat eh, di ba boboto when, when I was at and then all of a sudden there was a little change no na we were allowed to to accept to, to be accepted sa UAP so that was 86 nung nung 84 actually I was <laughs> I was uh, picking up a master's noon. <laughs> I go master's uh-huh. noon. So I go to school. Uh, ang, ang practice namin noon then was uh, seven, uh, seven in the evening. Uh, sa wow. Lasal. Yeah, seven. And then was uh, ano, St. Nathanaisius gym ba yun? Yung lumang gym natin. Oh, no. <laughs> you, miss, you miss stage. <laughs> you miss stage. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I, I go to school mga five, ang five o'clock. Tapos uh, attend ako ng seven. Now, straight na ako sa practice back then. So, then accept tayo sa UAP. So, I was the first ka, coach ng, ng Lasal sa UAP. We even had, I don't know if you guys uh, heard of this, that uh, we even had a uh, an exhibition game between Ateneo, which was uh, coached by uh, uh, Fable, uh, Chito Fable. Uh, uh, they were alert in the UAP. We invited them over sa, sa Lasal. So, there was a... Uh, an exhibition game para ipakita natin na uh, there's no 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 gulo <laughs> everything is cool between Ateneo and Lasal parang we're trying to build up natin relationship so we, we invited them kaya lang medyo nung last minute last seconds lang yata medyo po mon nagkagulo ng konti <laughs> because one of our players si Asurin uh, he got pressured by uh, coach Chotre yes Chotre was then a player <laughs> and then uh <laughs> He turned on and he punched shot. Because we're trying to have that, ano, di ba? Now yeah. we're good, we're cool, that uh, we, we can be accepted. We're not gonna be like the dancing, the magulo. And then here we go. At the day of the exhibition game, we're going to be like that. But uh, you know, so, there is coach, coach player mo pa si Rafa, the late Rafa, di ba? Uh, wala pa noon, that time wala pa si Rafa. Ah, wala, Rafa, pa, Rafa. Rafa mm. wala pa si Rafa. <laughs> Rafa entered uh, the sal ng 86, no, 86. Actually, kasabay niya si he was with Dindo, my brother, no. But oh. uh the the UAP did not recognize ang ano, ang PSD. It was PSD before, niba. Right? Now it's uh, became Benil, Saint Benil. I think a PSD in college, no? And they were saying that it's a different college. That's why, uh, no 86. Uh, if you guys remember, see, France played by one more year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. France played more, and then Dindo was supposed to play that year. Hell, and because of the PSD depart something, na na, I forgot that college department. Na hindi nila inaccept ng ng UAP. So the following year, pa nakalaw sila Rafa. I think so, uh, we, yes, I think uh, we were uh, I, a fifth lay shata kami, fifth or something like that, A7, something. I think, Coach, is a, that's a college of uh, career development, CCD. Yeah, yeah CCD, yes, uh, oh. CCD. Yun, mm-hmm. yun ang ano nila. Ah. Sorry, they did not accept that. <laughs> so, I, I have a question here as a, a little bit of the new timer, the younger generation, right? Because I started watching La Salle in the UAP somewhere around 2000, 2001. That's when I was uh, about eight, nine years old, right? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. so obviously, uh, I'm a little bit a few generations after you. But that's why I'm very interested in this conversation because you know, as someone who's a who's who wants to be a historian of Philippine college hoops. I'm very curious because I always hear all these stories, you mga kwentuhan, you mga uh, fables about yung mga sapakan, yung mga awa, yes. yung mga old school <laughs> fights, right? Dating back to old school UAP and dating back to the NCAA. And I'm happy you brought it up, coach, na when LaSalle wanted to join the UAP, they want gusto nila magpagood shot, di ba? Because at that point, LaSalle had a certain reputation na So yes. if you don't mind rewinding the clock a little bit, can you take us through maybe some of those problematic times at towards the end of La Salle's NCAA tenure that you can remember? And like, why do you think it was so uh, often that you know players would get into fights? And uh, were were players back in the day just more angas, a little more barumbado? 
Well, I think uh, it's also more of the 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 crowd, no? <laughs> In the, the crowd, parang ano eh? Uh, well, how will you say it? Parang lalong inaapuyan, no? <laughs> They're adding more fire to it. Uh, actually, I did not play in last NCA in La Salle. I was because uh, I, I was transferred from UE. Uh, the boss, uh, the late Danding Guango, recruited me and asked my dad to get me for La Salle. So in last year, I was uh, taking my one year uh, residence, and then uh, I remember I was there. <laughs> That was the Tran and La Salle game. Uh, Ito Esguera, those guys, diba, that uh, well, talagang bad boy. It was like Ito, talagang when they shoot, they, they elbow, you know. Uh, and players before it's different, uh, kailangan medyo may tapang ka, diba? May tapang. May, kasi it's part of the game, getting hurt, you know, be get hurt, or, you know, you, you, you hurt the other team, the other players also. Uh, first time I heard na sa NCA na ang cheering is yun na uh, yung cursing talaga, di ba? I mean, the crowd, <laughs> yeah, yung puro PI, PI, the whole yeah. crowd of NCA, the whole yeah. crowd of NCA, puro PI, di ba? Sinasaya, PI, parang yeah. gano'n, and then, um, meron and pa then, nga, uh, meron pa nga coach, yung soon to God. Soon yeah, yeah. Man, diba? yeah eh. What will we do when, when we go, we'll go out? <laughs> soon, soon to cut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the mga go old days before. Yeah, talaga, talaga ano. And then, you know, it really spills out. Uh, Nagi spill out sa labas yun know, ng Rizal Memorial. And uh, that time, I think uh, there were some students not, and I think uh, grade school, other high school got hurt. So when we played Letran. Uh, <laughs> in the famous ano nang na yung nagdala yung mga ano kasi parang the, the boss felt that we we were we cannot protect the diba, students natin so we he brought yung mga mga people from Tarlac I don't know if you heard about that story na he may involved pa dito ano ba yeah so that, that started everything <laughs> nagagulo talaga oh, oh. pero silang letra nang nag nang dagsira ng mga sa loob kasi they're the one who got you know who was left inside eh ng Rizal Memorial. So they destroyed everything, lahat ng doon. E yung mga lasal nakalabas na, pati yung mga... Games weren't as televised or easily available back in the day, right? Uh, like nowadays, no, you check no, no. you check Twitter, Facebook, makikita mo kagad yung highlight. Like yes. if, Richie Rivera, if Richie Rivera has a dunk, five minutes later on social media na yan. Do you hmm. think because because games weren't so televised back back in the day, there was a lack of accountability that led to some of the rowdy behavior? Or do you think na it was just more how kids back in the day were raised? Na di, ganito sila pinalaki by their parents because different era, different generation, you know, it, it wasn't that far off from when World War II happened. Uh, and also, is it true na kung mag-park ka ng kotse mo sa parking lot, may lasal sticker ka, pagbalik mo, basag na yung windshield? <laughs> yeah, totoo yan, totoo yan. Pag may Lasal ka or Atenea, that's why Atenea had to leave, di ba? NCAA, sila una eh. They left ahead of us. And then tapos sumunod na rin tayo. That, uh, parang we thought uh, our impression already was uh, karoon ng hooliganism na during the time na spasyado na it was getting out of control already. That it was always, there's, there's always a fight, di ba? Uh, Atenea, Lasal, and uh, Sambeda, para mang we were the I, I would say we were uh, we were fighting but you know parang tayo punching bag parang parang tayo palagi ano ang um, kaway you know mas antayo how do you say mas social <laughs> mas social na parang tayo tina-target ng lahat but uh, mayaman you know, daw oh mayaman daw di ba mga ano ba ta uh, mga konyo kids di ba <laughs> yung mga konyo kids daw tayo anyway but uh, before kasi siguro it's because of the 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 fall yung mga alumni iba rin di ba ibang grades nila ibang pagka fanatic nila that's why uh makikita mo even na uh, kasi sinabi ko noon i did not experience it yet nung Ateneo La Salle i was not able to play Ateneo La Salle when i was playing because they were already in the other league and uh wala kaming laban the only game na nakala, nakalaro kami ng against Ateneo was just a, a secret exhibition game. Kami uh, nila Al Mario, those guys. And it was set up by a uh, uh, by Marinol, mga Marinol. <laughs> and nag-go in between sa amin, Marinol. 
So we had a game na Lasal, friendly game at Ineo Lasal, no? And uh syempre malakas kami noon eh, di ba? Malakas kami nung nung sila Alf El Mario, no? Malakas kami nung Alfarero, Ituri, is basically nag nag NCC yun. So medyo ganoon na nangyari. So pero nung when I coached Lasal and we played at Ineo, that's the re- that's the time I really felt uh, Iba pala talaga rivalry basta when it comes to Ateneo Lasal. And when we lost in the finals ng 88, that's the first time I saw the alumni, the old alumni. Sa mga no? pumapalos ko ng the best that the play the team was crying, the players. Pati sila kikiiyak. Iyak <laughs> din. Ganito pala talaga rito. <laughs> mga nasulista pa natin ko pag nasa natin. Parang that's when I say na matalo na sa lahat. Huwag lang tayo matalo sa Ateneo. Yan ang ano, nakikita sa ganun. Talagang iba-iba, ibang ibang pagka-fanatics before niya, ibang ibang range na. But I think uh, uh, I would say that uh, that that uh, that 88 team uh, started everything. Kaya marami na nanonood ngayon and uh, you know the first time uh, they didn't want us to to play in in, in uh, Araneta because uh, baka daw parang meron uh, discrimination dahil Lasal at Ateneo kanila nilalagay sa Araneta noon. So During the finals, we just played in Rizal Memorial. Walang ta- walang tatayo, walang walang aalis. <laughs> Kahit ihihi ka na. Dahil mga wala yung pwesto mo eh. It's all standing up. Talang init, talang init. Grabe, grabe. And uh, when you buy tickets, doon sa jeep, papunta sa jeep, sa team yun, sa stage eh. Maabot ang gundo sa, sa kantin ni Saide. Ganun kahaba, paikot. And and that's why we said we started everything. That's why when we won 89, Uh, sa Rizal din ginawa, ayaw pa din na ng Araneta. After the championship, we walked the, all the players in their unit walked from Rizal to to Lasal and then we had a bonfire right there and then after the game. Uh, uh, coach, uh, dadagdag ko lang. Um, kasi na-been mentioned that you know, yung, yung ugali ng mga Lasalista doon. Uh, I just like to correct the impression. Sa las- mga Lasalista noon, hanggang ngayon, Uh, these these are really Christian gentlemen. Yeah. Pero yung, yung game, it brings out the uh, fanatism, yung bringing fanatics, di ba? Uh, we're not na- naturally violent. Pero hindi rin tayo aatras, di ba? Hindi rin tayo aatras yes, sa yes. laban. Tapos yung mga nababasag na kotse, eto yung nakapark dati ko, yung, yung sa Saipu. Yung mga, alam, natandaan nyo yung parking lot. Yes, yes, yung parking. Y- y- yung McDonald's ngayon. <laughs> yung McDonald's ngayon. Yung mga kotse ng nasa lista, pag naandun, meron kasing da- daan from, there was a secret passage from Rizal Memorial yeah. to De La Salle Campus crossing that small creek. Sa likod dumadaan yun, sa may tennis yes, court. Yes, yes, yes. Pero paglabas mo dun, madadaanan mo yung, ano, yung parking lot ni ni Saipu. Hmm, ni Saipu, doon nabasag yung mga maraming kotse doon. Ah, oh, doon binabasag. Oo. Oh, oh. Tsaka Rizal Memorial was our territory. Kasi yung mga, yung mga, ta- <laughs> yung mga tambay ng Vito Cruz eh. Mga kaibigan ng mga lasalista yan eh. Kaya suma- mm-hmm. sumama yun sa, ano, sa, sa, sa pagbulpe doon sa mga taga-Latran. That's why they weren't able to go out of Rizal Memorial. Oh. Kasi nandun, pati mga goods ng lasal nandun eh. Di ba? So that that was how it was before. But but then I'm sure all of we all can agree that the animosity between La Salle and Ateneo and the other school is just on the basketball court. Mm, uh, yes. Sa labas sa business, sa politics magkakaibigan yung mga yan eh. Ah, uh, yun lang ang may dadagdag ko on a side note, no? Uh, mm-hmm. Uh, friendly but, kanchawan lang pag sa labas. Friendly kanchawan <laughs> lang pag sa labas. Oo. Uh, but uh, but let me go back to to your 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 coaching career in in DLSU. You won the first you won the first championship in 89, right? 89? Yes. You repeated that in 90. Okay? Mm-hmm. And then in 91, we were the champion but the board took it away from us, di ba? Yes. Di ba, champion na tayo, sabi ng board, we have to do another game. We have, they had to replay the game. Mm. Whose decision was it for the team not to go back to the playing court? 
I think there was a uh, a meeting, no, of the board of trustees, LaSalle, uh, and uh, I think they felt that uh, it was not fair, no. Uh, mm. Because as far as technicality, basketball is concerned, because the the the, the protest is a basketball, it's eh, right? technicality. They were saying that uh, we should have been given a technical, technical, because of. Uh, uh, letting uh, Espinosa stay, right? Yeah, there were uh, six players on the five, court. Five fouls, yeah. 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 No, no, no. He was in five fouls, so he fouled out na siya, so he should be, he should have taken him out. Oh, okay. But, uh, but uh, in, in reality, you can see in the tape that si Adi Papa was already on his way to the table official to replace him. Kasi, I know, five fouls na siya. But, uh, the table official still, you know, Gino paren, binasa ng referee, and uh, the, re the, the table official should have, you know, press the buzzer. Diba? So that is the foul out, foul out. Oh. But the continue. But uh, the penalty for that, no, sa kunya rin dinaya nga or something nag nagpalusot. Penalty for that is only a, a tech, so technical. We get only a technical, no? Sinasabi na technical. But uh, only at this, uh, we only get charged for a timeout, diba? Garami timeout pa kami nun. And then, kung wala, then you get a technical. So, ganun parang inaano. Ang inaano nila ni Coach Turo nun, dapat bigyan kami ng technical. Kailangan lang dapat bigyan kami ng, ng charge timeout. Eh, but we still have a timeout then. And uh, even uh, mga basketball experts, even FIBA, rule it na ganun, <laughs> na wala. No? Kasi wala naman nangyari. I think it's just one, isang baba lang eh. Wala naman nangyari. Parang there's no effect on the game. No? And uh, in fact, si Tony Boy sikat eh. <laughs> Si Espinosa. He's in the FIBA rule sa book yan eh. Oh, really? uh, yung, yeah, 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 yung study, yung, ano na yan, yung, yung case na yan. Ano, si, si, ano. And uh, they just decided and they said na parang hindi tayo honest. I, I still remember it. Parang sinabi hindi tayo honest. Hindi tayo honest. That was just the reason bakit tayo, bakit ibibigay yung, yung, yung protest, hindi, hindi gagawin sa ating mga. Because we are not honest dito natin nilabas. But that's a rule, di ba? Even the commissioner there, then si, I think si uh, Codinera, uh, Commissioner Codinera, Boy Codinera, was saying, wala, di ba? Okay lang, ba dito? Because that's, that's a rule in basketball. Diba? So they decided. And uh, the fact that uh, we during that time, ang UAP is just top two teams. Top, top two teams lang eh. Walang-walang final four. Okay? At saka twice to beat ang number one team. We were number one team, right? So when we did not show up, the default tayo, diba? Technically speaking, dapat, there should be another game. Correct, yes. Kasi, kasi one, one game one. lang sila nalo. Uh -huh. One lang, diba? One. Kasi we have to be beaten twice. Eh. Ang ginawa, you know, in a word card, that you're dropping, diba? I mean, mm. <laughs> bakit bin ka? That is also a question, no? Yeah. So... Yun na nangyari. Ano, UP ang host noon. But kaya I cannot forget UP. UP ang host that time. Ang ang release na natin na, hindi daw tayo honest. Kaya yun, yun, hindi kasi hindi lang na tayo matira ng technicality, di ba? Nang, as far as uh, rules is concerned. Hindi daw tayo honest. Yun ang nangyari. And uh, uh, there were a lot of uh, uh, meeting noon before if we're gonna show up and uh, they decided na. No? Sila Dr. Villacorta nandun. Uh, I think some of the board of trustees was there. I think even Kinito was there. I saw him there. Mm. So, mga brothers, so they decided not to show up for the game. Yes, thinking that I, a, a third game is still possible, diba? Had there been a third uh, game, coach? Second game, two games lang yan. So, a third game, kasi uh, counting first, yung the protest. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, diba? Had there been a third game, no, no, it won't be. It can be a two game, only two games. Because twice to beat the number one, palagi. So we, LaSalle was twice to beat. So kung na default tayo, pan zero lang sila. So oh. winner take all on the second game. Ah, ganon. Uh, so uh, okay. yeah, so twice to beat the number one team. Then walang final four. <laughs> Mas mahirap nung araw. Walang walang final four. Anyway, kaya in lang, my... kaya yung bakbakan yung hanggang sa huli, bakbakan yun. Ang huli naglalaban usually yung one and two. Yeah. The last playing playing day ng second round, usually yung kalaban yung 1 and 2. Kaya parang nagiging best of 3 series. Yung 1 and 2 ka, laban na na kayo kagad. Oh. 
And well, that's what anyway. we did when we played the FEU. Tinalo na talo tayo ng uh, ng nung last sec nung second round, but we beat them two times nung nung first champion natin sa UAE. Anyway, in 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 many in my book and in other Lasal books, you you were the first three pit champion. 89, yeah. 90, 91, yes. right? I must say also that, <laughs> yeah. I, that for me, you know, we won it, no? We won yeah. it. We won it fair and square. I think that we dominated the league, you know? Uh, we've been, uh, I mean, uh, I think uh, not for anything. Maybe uh, they couldn't take it that uh, on the third year, we were already playing in the finals, right? Mm -hmm. so we, we entered the La, La entered 86, 87. 88, we were already in the finals. And then for the next 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 four years, di ba, we were playing in the finals. So parang, di ba, if you are UAP schools, parang ba't ganun, di ba? Oh, <laughs> Siguro they couldn't take that, di ba? Imagine, that's four straight years, 88, di ba, 89, 90, 91. We're in the finals. And we just only joined the league in 86, di ba? So that's how makikita mo kagad na if we've won three times already, di ba, in like, like six years, <laughs> Parang gano'n, nanalawa oh. agad tayo. Hindi mo, mga rookie, mga rookie team, di ba, is in the finals. It's a big slap on the face of the other teams. Yes, diba? yes, yes, yes. And uh, uh, I remember that uh, they did not uh, allow uh, the, the players. Yung mga, kaya nga, only France was allowed to play. Siya lang allowed. Pero yung mga Almario, sila Ipuri, sila Juntan, yung malalakas sa team, NCC, hindi na na-allowed. Hindi na in-allowed. Si France lang umabot, sabi, si France lang daw ang eligible. Kasi nga, alam nila na strong team yung Lasal, di ba? Yung uh -huh. nag-compose na yun. In fact, nung, nung nag, nag, uh, nanalo tayo, uh, the team uh, that won yung, yung, yung uh, how do you call it? The... the champion ano ano ang tawag sa atin basketball court champion <laughs> uh, we were given a ring for for grand slam binigyan kami mm. ng ring wow wow binigyan kami ng lasal ng, ng ng ring for being the grand slam champion sa din mo three still, times you yeah. still you still have that ring yeah yeah I still have that oh, ring wow pwede uh, pwede grand slam champion pwede ibenta sa yeah, eBay pwede ibenta sa eBay yan <laughs> Yeah, kaya nakalagay doon, di ba? Three-time champion tayo. Yes. That's why Lasal yeah. still considered it as a, a champion, di ba? Achievement, a board, correct. Yeah, the other one is a board, you know? <laughs> Boardroom champion. <laughs> <laughs> let me, let me um, you have a question? Yeah, I want to do a comparison sort of, of back in the day to today, right? Because... I mentioned earlier accountability and how mm. nowadays highlights are on social media ka agad, right? Like the games and what's happening. Like, for example, if may mag away sa parking lot, may mag video dyan, may mag upload, hahanapin yung mga tao na nasa away and kawawa sila, reputation nila gets damaged. So maybe that's a little also uh, a reason why um, players nowadays are a little more suppressed when it comes to their tough or their uh, pagkaangas. But I, I would say there are both benefits and disadvantages, right, to social media. Um, for example, nowadays, players, they know that since they're considered public figures by the amount of followers that they have, they have to be a little more well-mannered. Uh, like what Albert said earlier, you know, proper Christian gentlemen for the LaSalle community. So there's some accountability there. But on the flip side of that naman, social media could play mentally with the mindset of players nowadays, you know, make them a little more ill-advised with their decisions. It opens up marketing opportunities for them and that's where the agents come in with the endorsement deals, the marketing deals. And, you know, from, from a young age, players are thinking business-minded na, not just, you know, improve on the court, right? So I say that as context because I want to know, Coach, having been someone who led a three-peat LaSalle team decades ago and has been coaching, has been playing back from the days when there would be fights and the crowd would be intense compared to how they are now, what to you is the main or are the main differences of the mindset of college student-athletes from back in the day 
to how they are now? I think uh, back back during the, those days, uh, back the you know, they have more pride. I think they're they're playing for pride now, diba? Hindi yung you know I'm playing for Lasal. Uh, I want to play for Lasal. Kasi gusto ko maglasal, no? Hindi yung I was offered to play for Lasal. <laughs> I got this offered because uh, hindi ka talaga yung yung talagang your mindset is I'm just going to Lasal, di ba? Kaya sabi ko, pride, yung talaga yung pride nun, iba. Uh, when you, puso talaga. When, when you say, di ba, you hear, hear about it nowadays, puso, talaga nung araw, puso, di ba? Puso talaga. Um, nagpapakamatay, di ba? Just to, just to get there. Five, two, two, ten minutes, nagpapakamatay talaga. Eh, yun yung tinatawag na pag sinabi mo, kagat, kagat yan, di ba? Yun, yun ang, those were back the days na, yun ang player, di ba? Na talagang laban-laban tayo. And when mm-hmm. you say something uh, during those days, when you say di mo ba kaya yan, you will do something. Uh, you will do something. The, the players will do something. Uh, ayaw niya nung maisahan siya, di ba? Ngayon kasi, hindi ko sinasabing masama, no? but you know, they're just lucky, di ba? Dahil uh, medyo naging, uh, I would say, ang approach is different. There's more marketing, no? Uh, offer is different uh, and uh, you have choices of ilang schools for you decide kung saan ka pupunta no? but there are just, there are also still a few players no? lahat naman na, no? na if they say they want to, to play for La Salle they want to play for UP or Tineo talagang mindset nila doon yun yung yun sinasabi ng maganda di ba? and I think uh, uh, so far no uh, Ateneo has done a, a good job. No? I must say that. No? Uh, that uh, they're going sa, sa grassroots nila. Kasi mga Ateneo mentality yan, nakukuha nila, then they act at nila sa senior. So mm-hmm. parang mas madaling, you know, it's easy to deal. No? With, with, Develop. You read, you know, yes. Yeah, yeah. You, you parang you level, you can, you can level with them kasi they know how they know how Ateneans think. Diba? You understand each mm-hmm. other. Yeah, yeah, so hindi yung pera-pera usap natin, di ba? Kasi, right. they're, they're, you know, I hate to say it, but, you know. It happens. It's it happens. true. Ngayon, eh, ba? Diba? Ganun talaga, uh, money eh, diba? talks. Yeah, money talks. Money talks. I mean, uh, it's not just the player. It's the the, the, the parents. <laughs> diba? The parents. Before, talagang pag sinabi nila sa lasa lang. Ilang gas, diba? ilang gas station pwede ibigay. Ganun, diba? Sa eh, mga <laughs> parents. <laughs> diba, ganun. Eh, ilan ang pwede pag-aralin. Nakasama ba yung kapatid na ganitong bakal? It's like that, diba? But uh, back those days, no? talagang pag sinabi nila sa patay kung patay, diba? Talagang, mm-hmm. but, oh, yung talagang duduguin ako bago ako matalo. I mean, mm-hmm. it's, it's like that. Even though how weak Ateneo is, even though how weak ang Lasal, pag naglaban ng dalawa, it's like a championship game. Uh, mm-hmm. Ganun lang. Even, imagine, uh, this, the the national team, diba? National team. A national team, eh, you can refuse. Diba? You, if you invited, you can refuse. Before, malagay lang ang pangalan mo sa dyaryo na you are one of the invited na magta-try out. Parang, wow. ang say-say mo na. Oh wow, parang it's a big deal na. Parang you feel so proud. I'm one of the top players dito. Doon lang masaya na nagta-try out siya, di ba? Ito sabi ko. And uh, yun nga, it's more of pride, no? Ito, may pride right. din, syempre, pero uh, as, as uh, siguro as the years he plays with the school, he gets the he gets to adapt the culture, no? And that's the time he, he feels the pride, no? And uh, that's what we're on time to to change right now, no? And uh, you know we 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 we've not made it to the last uh, two 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 season, no? Out tayo back to back fifth place tayo, and uh, I want to change the culture. Na you know losing is not you know it's not okay, diba? <laughs> you know, okay, okay. Oh yeah, because kasi sa kanila okay lang yun. Okay, pagdating na ang ang mentality mo na parang you accept losing. Hindi tayo pwede. Losing, losing, loser attitude tayo. And that's what I'm trying to change right now. That, uh, you know, what we've been doing the last uh, two seasons, it's not working, right? We, we have not made it to the final four. So something must be wrong. <laughs> something must be wrong. Kasi hindi, 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 hindi maayos. Hindi tayo pumapasok. Imagine fifth place. 
probably just a one win you make it to the final four but uh, mm -hmm. so something must be wrong so some, some things has to change diba uh, and uh, it's not a temporary thing that, that's what i was i'm preaching with the boys it's not a temporary thing that um, change is for a permanent channel diba para may establish natin the culture natin and, and that's what really i'm preaching right now Coach, two follow-up questions lang. Sorry, Albert. Just a follow-up question. No. Number one, sure, sure. how how do you instill that LaSalle green-blooded pride back in today's young students who might not have that desire to be into the whole LaSalle uh, pride thing, right? And number two, are you a fan of how the game has changed? Because back in the day, uh, when you were winning championships, iba yung laro, di ba? It's dominance in the paint. Who can control rebounds? Who can score inside? Who can outmuscle mm -hmm. their opponents and you know dominate? Yung establish their dominance, right? But nowadays, so students, players, they watch Steph Curry, they watch Damian Lillard, mm -hmm. they watch uh, NBA. It's a three-point shooting game nowadays. Basketball has become about shooting, long-range shooting. Who can hit from deep? So those two questions. One, how do you instill that old-school? I will die for my I will die for the LaSalle Pride attitude. And number two, are you a fan of where the game is going, being more flexible and more three-point shooting, more finesse? Well, as uh Prince still yung, yung fighting spirit na, and LaSalle Pride, no? Uh lalo lang sa mga new new guys natin. What 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 I've been doing is uh I've been invited in the Zoom huh, during kasi we have to do we have to be more innovative as coach. Mas mahirap kami ngayon eh. Ang hirap ng, it's, a, it's a harder job for us, no? But uh, I must say that uh, uh, it's not because uh, I think we, we've, done a, a, we've done a great job uh, uh, adjusting to this uh, pandemic. You know, because uh, we, we have, uh, we, don't, we don't do the same program, no? Every day, bye bye. So, para hindi rin maboard yung mga, and, uh, and uh, of course, we, we we keep saying about the self spirit, no? That uh, we, we we try to, to talk to them, but at the same time, we want uh, these guys to hear it from other players. And so we invite players to speak with 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 our, uh, about their experience with the sal, and we invite the uh, champion champion players, no? Uh, way back uh, nung nagkocoach ako. Uh, in France, so it's like we have always players getting invited, so talking, speaking about the the, the La Salle spirit, the the championship, the importance of education, the importance of La Salle education, and uh, I think we we we've done that, and I think we were able to touch that no sa sa kanila, and uh, they know that uh, uh, how it feels to be a La Salle, kasi nakita nila, di ba? Even a uh, magsambol, di ba? I don't know if you heard of si magsambol, di ba? Sumbol. Na, oh, magsumbol. Yeah, magsumbol. Oh, yeah. And uh, si Alvin Castro, na they, hindi naman sila, may more of coming of the men sila, but they were a member of, uh, of the La Salle Champions team, di ba? Nang four, four straight chan, may ka fans, I think. And uh, na shared din nila na they're taking also uh, sports management and they're making use of it. Diba? It's not because you're enrolled in sports management, wala ka lang pupuntaan, teacher ka na lang or what. But, uh, and they said that, you know, we, we're doing well, uh, we've get, we're living a good life. It's because of the LaSalle education that we can use right now. Uh, si Magsi, nasa abroad, I think, uh, in international school, and si, si uh, Alvin is like the head of uh, one of the high school uh, sports department or something like that. In the so states, in the those states. things in the states, yes, in the states. So, you know, we we try to do that. We it's not just hearing it from us every day. You no, know? we also want them to hear from others. You no, know? parang different, different naman. Hindi lang palagi naman. And and that's how we instill naman. Na, alam po pino push tamis nila inaano pero sure it's different also from hearing it from other players. Not that played for the South, that won that one championship for the South. And uh, regarding the games, you know, I think uh, uh, sometimes, you know, uh, it's nice to watch. No? <laughs> it's nice to see the three-point shot, no, things like that. 
and uh, but uh, I must say that uh, some of the players, uh, masyadong too much watching NBA. <laughs> diba? Yung, kaya when you play in the international, it's like ball movement. Diba? But here, mm-hmm. in the NBA, it's more dribble, eh, no? trying to create your own shot. No? Uh, and, and that's what, what's happening. Uh, I, I would say that you know I'm okay with it, but uh, I want to have a, a mixture of it. Uh, I still have one uh, one guy that uh, can get the, the dominate the the, the post uh, because mm-hmm. uh, I think I, I still believe that uh, if they can stop the post, then uh, they have to send a double or help, and that's the time mm-hmm. we can kick out and hit the open shot, and we still end up with a three point shot. Right. right. Uh, that's why I have, yeah. I have to have a mix of both. Uh, because uh, you know, I, I would rather try to defend the guys outside, diba? than uh, a guy that you know will, will send a double or things like that. But uh, outside, siempre, um, they're not all uh, step carry, you know, <laughs> that will shoot the, <laughs> that high high percentage. But uh, right uh, between uh, between the inside and the outside, diba? parang mas ang, ang percentage wise. Na mas mal, mas ang, ang, ang percentage. They have to shoot like 30% uh, to be able to be like shooting 50%. So mm-hmm. I think uh, I, I'm okay with that. Uh, to defend that, uh, I think it will be easier. Now, it's hard kasi trying to stop. But uh, parang ang chances na mag-miss may mas mataas kasi sa ilalim na, you know, either you get fouled, you get a dunk shot, or end one. No? So... Uh, I'm 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 okay with it, uh, but I just still want to have a, a mixed mixture of uh, both, uh, inside and outside. Coach, speaking of inspiration, you know, um, a week ago, I was able to have a Zoom meeting with the 1971 NCAA mm. champion ng Lasal. This is the team of Bimem Beng. Uh, Mike Bilbao. Uh, yan, yan yung mga sikat eh. Of course, there were other players there. And uh, nandun din si, ano, si Chuck, Chuck uh, Buenaventura, yung kanilang team Chuck manager. Buenaventura, yeah. oh, sabi yes, ni Chuck, yes. nung yung, the concept of the team manager before is, is totally different from the con- concept of the team manager now. Sila daw, ang ginagamit nilang pera, yung pera ng lasal, para pambili ng supporter, ng media, yun lang. <laughs> yun ang trabaho nila. And that was Sankis, all. Sankist, no? Sankist. Sankist, oh, <laughs> di ba? That, that, was, that was all the players were getting. Di ba? Um, some of them don't even have scholarship. So, they were really playing for pride. And it was so nice to hear it from the players, how, how they fought for the school. There was even one player, si, I think that's Trulio Bayon, who played really sick. May sakit siya, may lagnat siya, naglaro siya. Pero second half, hindi na siya maglaro. Makapaglaro because he was really burning. He was really shivering. That was really school pride. That was puso mm-hmm. talaga. And to see Mike Bilbao now, he still, of course, is matanda na, pero nandun pa rin eh, nandun pa rin school pride. Now, coach, if ever you need these guys to talk to your team, let me know so uh, we can set. Yeah, sure, team. sure. Okay. Because so, okay. I doubt if they know Mike Bilbao, pero you know, the mm. generation natin kilala natin si Mike Bilbao. No, yes, means, kila- kilala mo ba si Mike Bilbao? <laughs> I I might have read it, but <laughs> personally, no. <laughs> yeah, Mike he's Bilbao. Uh, he's a baby assassin. <laughs> He's a uh, brainy, you know, brainy, baby, baby face, pero he's tough. He's tough. Oh, uh, tigas yon, matigas. Saka very good yeah. point guard. One of the best. I think he's one of the 50 uh, greatest PBA players together with Lee Min Bay. Oh, so ilang 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 Go go for it, then I'll ask uh, mine. Okay. A lot of people would say, Oy, matanda na yun si, ano, si Derek Pumarin. But, you know, kasi nga, 
matagal na kayo hindi na hindi matagal ka nang hindi na coach but people should remember i'd like to emphasize this that lasal has had already nine championships of the nine championships seven yon nang galing sa pumarin brothers di ba of the sa nine na yon ko idadagdag pa yung 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 championship natin with uh, yung tripit ni coach Derek then that's eight out of ten championships ng BLSU sa UAP ng galing sa Pumarin Brothers. Uh, ta- tama ba ako, coach? Diba? That people should not forget that the, the brand of Pumarin of the Pumarin is attached to Lasal basketball. Uh, what can you say about that legacy that you guys are you know, still building in Lasal? Well, uh, siguro, uh, I started coaching in 86 sa UAP and then I stopped on 91 kasi uh, was, during, during the time I was coaching three teams. No? Sometimes, oh. minsan pa nga, nung start ng UAP, I was coaching four teams. <laughs> kasi uh, I was coaching Lasal. No? I was coaching uh, the national team. No, 88. I was coaching the national team, and then uh, I was coaching uh, Magnolia, <laughs> uh, PABL pa noon. And then uh, I was with uh, San Miguel with Norman. I'm his uh, assistant coach there, but uh, si Norman was uh, the playing coach, so I do more of the coaching because he he does more of the playing. And uh, what I can say is that uh, in the But in the last nine years, natin, we've only produced two championships. <laughs> yes, <laughs> right. But uh, with the number of years that we coached as brothers, uh, we were able to produce uh, eight championships. Yeah. And, and that's a fact. Diba? That's a fact. I don't know if I'm going to or what. But uh, nine championships with all the money that we can buy. Diba? I mean, in the last nine years, Diba? With all the support that we're getting, we've, we've only produced uh, two championships and, and we've been eliminated uh, in the last uh, two seasons. So I think um, I, I, I'm, I'm old. I, I, I say I'm, I'm old because I've been around. Okay, I've been around. But uh, I have been, uh, I never stopped. No? I never stopped coaching. Uh, I've been always there. <laughs> Maybe they don't know that I'm, I'm there. Uh, in fact, when after UE, I went to I went to handle CEU, and uh, bragging rights the one CEU is that uh, CEU is the one the, the the last team that uh, has beaten Ateneo in in a in a in a tournament. No? Uh, after that, because we didn't come out of Ateneo, they didn't win anything. They went straight to the UAP, uh, and uh, and that's a bragging right for CEU. You know? uh, We made that we did seven players. We still uh, were able to to beat them in yeah. the finals. We played them in the finals, so so with seven players. No? And I said that uh, you know I I'm old, but uh, I've been around, but I, I'm flexible now. I, I adjust. I, I'm not the same Derek when I started in '86 at the UAP. Uh, there are a lot of changes. The nangyare. Okay, we still run the, the we still run the we still press. But it's not the same press as the the press the uh, uh, 98 <laughs> when when I introduced it to Lasal with with the uh, with Coach Franz now when I was his consultant. It's not the same as the same right now. So there are a lot of things, but people will not notice that. But uh, you know, I've adapted to system. I've been very flexible to to things. I've been flexible and I accept changes also. No, but. Uh, Hindi ako nag-insist na ito, ito, ito. No? What I know before is that no, it's, co- coaching is a continuous learning process. I'm still learning right now. I'm still learning. Even though I've been coaching for more than uh, 30 years, I'm still learning. So I might, I must, I might be around for a long time now, but uh, natuto pa rin. Oh. I still have new, new ideas. Uh, it's still new in the team that you see. It's not gonna be the same as '86. Uh, so that's that's all I can I can say. Levin, you have a question? 
Yes, uh, Coach, just looking forward here a little bit, I have three questions that mm. I believe the LaSalle community would like to know. Number one is, do we have any new recruits for the team that hasn't been reported yet? I believe that there were some recruits you were looking at, me, not only in the Philippines, but also abroad. Uh, number two, what's the latest with the situation regarding Justin Baltazar? Uh, there were reports he would be recruited by international teams. Maybe he'd move on to the next level. Um, do we know for certain if he's coming back uh, for his final season or not? And number three, which is a little bit of a tricky question, no? but um, I believe not reporting yet, not confirmed, but I believe that the UAP will require its student athletes to be vaccinated to participate in uh, the tournaments for the upcoming leagues and uh, season. So are your green archers fully vaccinated at this point? Is this something you're requiring out of your uh, players? And um, yeah, what's the latest about that out, along with the two other questions? Well, uh, we, we were all vaccinated. No? The whole team has all been vaccinated. In fact, uh, three, three, two, three, four months ago, vaccinated na kami lahat because uh, we're anticipating that. And I think that is one of the, how would I say, the requirements that uh, in the, the terms that the UAP is giving sa uh, submitting sa uh, IATF and CHED, no? so we're able to to be allowed uh, to start the uh, training. So as far as La Salle, as far as the basketball team is concerned, the the coaching staff, all the players, uh, we're all vaccinated. Guys that are really coming abroad, uh, yung mga PLMs, you know, Australians, they're also vaccinated. So that that is a requirement for us. So we won't have any problem with that. No? So we're all good. <laughs> we're all good. Even the utilities, lahat ng sasali, kailangan vaccinated. So vaccinated na tayo. That's why, if you don't notice, that uh, uh, yung last time na merong CHED with UAP, vaccinate, di ba? there was like a photo-op na nag-vaccinate, nag-vaccinate yung, mga, yung mga athletes. Wala tayong basketball at dala na yata natin, taekwondo. Kasi nga, vaccinated na tayo lahat, <laughs> lahat ng basketball players natin. Uh, as far as uh, new recruits, right now, uh, so far, ang latest uh, recruit namin is uh, the, the kid from uh, from uh, Dubai. No? I don't know if you mentioned, I mentioned na yun yata. L- ni- LA Andres, LA. yes. L- LA Andres. Um, so he'll be eligible in, 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 in 86. Uh, he is our latest recruit, and uh, we're still working on, on some guys right now. Uh, hopefully, that we'll be able to get word, you know, to finalize and everything within uh, next month, siguro. Hopefully, early next month, para magawa namin. And that was the second question uh, about Baltazar. Oh, Justin, uh, I think he, I think he will finish his uh, he will finish his college. You know? Playing years with the South. It's just uh, we are uh, waiting for confirmation, but uh, right now we are still scheduled, I think, uh, to open on February 19th and uh, up to before Holy Week. Atapos na. So every playing day, I think three times a, a week on playing days, uh, every playing days, uh, all teams will play. Para mabilis. Kasi it might become a bubble. Baka sila bubble. Mm. Sila bubble. So where, would the bub- where would the bubble be potentially? Any news about that? And uh, basketball and volleyball lang ba? Or are you hearing other sports might be involved then? I'm not quite sure. But I have heard about volleyball. No? I have heard about volleyball. Okay. But uh, there are just other other venues here na being considered. No? And depends on the the protocol na kaya ng i, i how would I say it? I isolate the players. Right. So uh, I think Moa is one of them, or another is one of them. Uh, and it's gonna be here. But uh, we are already, as I mentioned uh, at the start of this uh, this interview, that uh, the team is ready anytime soon. Uh, hopefully that uh, they'll give the okay signal. The the dorm is ready for ocular inspection. 
the protocol has been in place. And, uh, you know, as I said, we're, we're ready anytime, Susana, mag-ma-ayos ma, 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 na. It happens. <laughs> Sana, Chad and IATF make it happen. Sorry, Coach. Do, dorm for ocular inspection, meaning the dorm of the green archers in campus needs to be inspected? Yes, yes. Parang ganun yun eh. Parang for protocol, di ba? Who, and, uh, there who, will be... will, who will inspect? The LaSalle itself or no, Chad? No, I the think UAP? Chad, Chad and uh, Chad, Chad, I think Chad or IETF. Chad or IETF. Chad inspect or IETF. Coach, when you say Great. dorm, are you talking about the, the dorm in near La Salle or yung kasi may dorm din ng CSB ng ganda ng bagong no, CSB? Saan no, saan no. That's, a, that's for yung, the basketball team natin. Eh. Ah, yung Agno House. Okay. Yes, saan no. And, and, and when, the, when the season starts, I suppose walang audience yan or merong audience? May if it's a, a... Well, there, I think they're still thinking about it, no? Kung sa kalit, baka nasa <laughs> yung parang mga NBA, di ba, nasa taas, masyadong mataas. Bleachers, Maybe it's on the yeah. other side. Oh. Maybe the other side, oh, bleacher, upper box, no? Just like yung, ano ba to? Yung beauty pageant contest, uh-huh. di ba, nasa taas sila lang. Right. Something right. like that, yeah. probably. probably And it's gonna be away from the players, no? But the only uh, team team members will be allowed sa court, no? And and right. me and me ja tayo na bin pwede tayo sumaba. Yeah, I I was actually wondering no magiging masaya ba si coach and the other coaches na they won't have to deal with us annoying media people after the game. <laughs> <laughs> asking asking all the annoying questions. <laughs> okay lang yun, kasali yun eh. <laughs> kasali yun is. Uh, ah, coach. You 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 mentioned already the team. We talked about uh, Justin Balthazar. Ah uh, I, I have a, a list here. Can you give me a, an idea? Uh, can you give me a, a one to two words or no, a few words description of each player that I will mention? Number okay, one, okay. Si Kurt Loera. Uh, he's a veteran. Uh, he will try, he can create. No? Uh, he's a lefty. Hopefully, uh, he's a tough defender. Uh, and he, he will penetrate. He will make things happen for us. And Jordan Bartlett. Bartlett. Uh, hassles. No? He'll bring hassles. Hassle on the floor. Uh, he'll put pressure. He will be a pest. No? He'll be the other guards. And hopefully that uh, he will be the, the court general and run the show for, the, for my team. Nice. See, Justin Baltazar. How do you describe it? The, the next superstar? Well, I think he will be the next uh, PBA superstar. <laughs> no, he he will be a leader. Um, he will, uh, I think, uh, he can lead us to the to the championship. Uh, he he's an inside outside player. He, he's a complete package. Right now, he's a really seasoned uh, veteran, and he's really ripe for uh, PBA. Brandon Bates. Brandon Bates. Uh, He's a banger. Uh, he will occupy space. Uh, hopefully, he can he can finish shots now. No, and uh, he can uh, try to intimidate on, on defense and help. But can I smile? <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> when I said finish. So <laughs> why? I'm damn near tired. Na andun na, di ba? Andun na. Pa pasok na hindi pa mo pasok. But will he still yeah. play? He will still play for the. He'll still play. He'll see uh, one more uh, season because of the uh, age. Yeah, dapat two years, two more season, but because of the pandemic, inabot ng age, eh, di ba? So he will only play one one season. They're not. They're not only extend. Play. They're not extending the age limit because of the. Uh, no, pandemic. they're 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 going to extend the age limit only for graduating uh, mm. players. Seniors. Eighty three. The seniors from right. 83, okay, oh. but yung the others in there, because if they do that, then masyadong marami <laughs> adjustment. Oh. So uh, Bartlett and uh, Bartlett and uh, and Brandon Bates. will be in uh, in will be in their last season also. Okay. Uh, because Waki, of the age. <laughs> Waki Manuel. Waki, um, I would say uh, he's a three guy. Uh, he has to be more quicker this time. <laughs> yes, I think that to lose weight, he has to get more in shape. 
so to be able to 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 give us a spark, uh, the help, and uh, probably the veteran leadership uh, that we will need. Uh, dahil siya lang ngayon ang medyo sa position niya, medyo, I uh, would say, uh, anong masasabi natin, yung naiwan na players na for LaSalle. Mm. Wing. Oh. Uh, sorry, Albert, can I interject real quick? I just want to ask, will Mark Nonoy and Evan Nelly be eligible already since it's been two years that technically they've been in residency? Yes, uh, they 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 are eligible now. Uh, so Nonoy, Nelly is eligible. Our import is eligible. <laughs> Who's our import? Si Bright. Si Bright. Bright Nwangko, yeah. So he he's eligible. He has already established. This is already his second year. No? So, so second year. Yeah. Uh, ano ano laro ni Bright? He's more of a five, five guy. It's like six, nine with a oh. uh, seven, two wingspan. You know? mm. but, but Very but, active, a good rebounder. You know, he'll, he'll block shots. Uh, uh, he can run, he can run. He can run because he's, not very, he's, he's very slim, right? He's very athletic. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, uh, I think I mentioned this to, to Naveen. Uh, that when he's you wrong. see that, <laughs> when you see the team, uh this coming uh, season 84 you will see that uh, parang pare parang built nila mahaba no? lean uh, they are all like that yes. that's, that's that's the player that i that i like so, yeah. so, yeah, yeah, well, mga so mga you know what they yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know what they say what 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 negates height is speed and who which yeah. team has the tallest player in the UAP right now we all know who that is right <laughs> <laughs> Pero si si Manuel, siya yung banger ng team, di ba? Siya yung Blue yung, guy. Yung, yung, yung ma- yeah, tough yeah, guy. Yeah, kind of, kind of, yeah, oh. tough guy. Yeah. But uh, as I said, you know, he has to to step up his game to the next level. Yeah. And I think even attitude-wise, he has to step up to another level. He wants to be a leader, then uh, he has to, uh, he has to go, what's it called? walk the talk, right? Yes, <laughs> right. Right. Sorry, sorry. Can I also ask, Coach? Can we expect Nelly and Nonoy to be your starting backcourt? Mm, probably in the game. Uh, during the course of the game, they will play together. They will play mm-hmm. together. You know? mm-hmm. And will so we said, see a Bart, a Bartlett, Nonoy? Because you mentioned speed, so are we gonna see Bartlett, Nonoy, and um, Nelly at the same time trying to push the pace? Uh, probably, probably. So uh, if you, 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 we also have uh, Deshaun Winston. Uh, mm. He's also a six-four point guard, <laughs> so that mm. can run also. Speed kills. <laughs> oh, so Deshaun is a point guard. Yeah, he's a really legit point guard for uh, Central Michigan. But uh, he, I can slide him to two, and you know, or he can run the, he can run the point. And uh, let Nonoy and uh, Nelly come off screens because you know these guys can shoot. <laughs> Nelly and Nonoy can shoot. So, so I will have a more. I would say I would have more uh, adjustment things. You know, more creative with this with these guys. So, mas ma malamig ko na may innovate with these guys. Yeah. Coach, uh, right now your 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 lineup is over twenty players, di ba? Uh, well, right now I have a tw- I have now twenty five eligible players in the UAP. Wow! I'm eligible, huh? eligible right now. That's eligible to play. I have twenty five, but uh, it's because uh, we lose four players in season eighty four, and then another two. It's like we're gonna lose like total of eleven players. After season eighty six, <laughs> and and the thing about it is that uh, it's not gonna be like before. That's why I, I talk about season. It's because uh, next year uh, we might have a a a, a, a two season <laughs> in para one umabol. year. Para mm-hmm. Two season, yeah. So if we're gonna have the season eighty four in February, the season eighty five will be September October. So that's in less than a year. Nakadalawa ka na kagad. So. That's why uh, I'm sure that uh, some of you guys are wondering why we're recruiting. It's because of that, the yung, yung transition natin, eh, uh, mm-hmm. 
25 eligible pero ilan mo wala so by the time imagine if we have like 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 now we have 25 by the time 86 we're down to 11 so that means that's the only time that we will look for payers diba hindi mm-hmm. pwedeng ganun so we prepare like uh, right now uh, si Estacio no uh, Penny Estacio from FEU uh, I'm loaded with guards but uh, because of preparation in the event that uh, the two the two guys will graduate then I have already already a backup guard that's coming succession in. correct succession. yeah the, we have a succession planning that's that's what we have if you uh, if you can see our program hanggang season 8 taka ano kami <laughs> may succession plan kami diyan so every year meron yan Coach, another player I want to ask is uh, about is Kevin Kiambao because I've seen that he's been in Dubai recently. He was there with LA Andres, no? Uh, and mm-hmm. he's been working on his game, improving his craft. And of course, we all know that Kevin Kiambao is part of the vaunted and new bullpup squad that won multiple championships in high school with Carl Tamayo, Terrence Fortea, and that whole crew. So... What can we expect early on from the career of Kevin Kiambao? Do we see him as a potential role, uh, important player in the team right away? Or is he someone who might take one or two years to really grow into his game? Well, um, the, the projection for Kevin is that uh, he's coming in to replace uh, Baltasar. Yeah? Because uh, after Baltasar finishes uh, his uh, uh, UAP season, in 84, Kevin will be coming in <laughs> on 85. So that is the projection for him to to take Baltasar's spot. Hopefully that... So, uh, so he won't that, uh, play in season 84? 85 na yet. siya maglalar? Not yet. No, he's still in grade 12. He's still in grade 12 right now. So he's still uh, finishing his senior highs. So, the um, projection talaga is for him to to replace Baltasar. So, hopefully that uh, the the yung 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 months na na waiting will will be able to prepare him. Because we don't want that uh, the players coming in. Na we will just prepare them when they're when they're about time to play. The, the, we don't like that program. Our program is that we're getting ready. No? We're letting everybody get ready. That when their number is called, then ready, they're ready to play. And even when their number is called, okay, we prepare them. I don't, I don't think we'll have that uh, luxury of a time. No? Na, na gawin yun. Coach, do you already have a um, a sort of a lineup for season 84? Uh, who are your hmm. 12 players? Well, pa, wala pa ako. Right now, wala pa. Basta... They know that uh, the 25 is they're all eligible. They know that, huh? so I will be getting my final 16 on the on the uh, the list of the 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 pool of players, no? And the pool of players. We call it pool of players. We don't have a team A, team B. We call it pool of players, no? and uh, that's where we go uh, because we'll see in the face to face if they're ready. You know? if, if they're not, then I'm sorry, you know. As as I keep telling them. It is not me who's not going to make it happen. It is them. No? It is you, the player, who will make it happen. If you want to make it to the lineup, uh, then it's up to you to show it to me that you deserve to be there. That, and that's, that's, I'm, I've been, uh, yeah, I've been, I'm a very fair person. And you know, if you, you deserve it, you deserve it. But if not, I'm sorry. No? It's, it's not on me. It's, it's on you. No? So the, uh, a final word. To all our, to all the Lasal alumni, the Lasal basketball supporters, the fans of the basketball team, because not may may mga fans of basketball team ng Lasal na hindi taga Lasal, ah, if, if you know that. Anyway, uh, any final word for them before before we go, because bakak maglunch na tayo. Mm. Coach, yes, final well, word. Yeah. Uh, to all LaSalle community and you know to all LaSalleians. Yeah. Uh, we are all ready. You know, the team is ready. Uh, we've been, uh, you know, there's still up and down, but uh, uh, we're all good. Uh, I think we've been, we've, we've, we've already prepared the team and uh, we wanted uh, to get the, the 70% as soon as we, we, 
we have the face-to-face -face training and get a 30, the next 30 when we're there now. And uh, we're aching to go. Um, if patients to board to, just have to have patience <laughs> and uh, expect that the, the team will be there fighting. Uh, we will be more competitive this time. Uh, we will show the really the animal spirit and you expect that and expect that from the team. It's not gonna be, you know, okay lang pag natalo, okay lang, no. Uh, you know, we will, we will, we, we're gonna refuse to lose this time. Uh, expect that. Uh, I know, I've heard, no, I've heard, I don't know how true that the other teams are already doing the face, that they're doing some training, <laughs> limited training. But uh, we have not done that so far. Um, the school has not allowed us. We've been very careful with that. Uh, you know, naman tayo mga lasalya, eh, mga disiplinado eh. <laughs> di ba? Hindi tayo, <laughs> oh, tayo pasaway. Honest tayo, honest, honest. Oh, hindi tayo pasaway, di ba? Kaya, so we're doing that. So we're ready for that, no? But uh, rest assured that uh, the team will be ready when the, the, the season starts. Whether we, we start practicing November, we start practicing December, uh, I'll assure you, I guarantee you that, that the team will be ready by, by February. Thank you very much, Coach. And Naveen, any Thank final you. word? Naveen? Um, I think Coach hit, the, hit it right in the nail, I believe, uh, in terms of, you know, for someone who covers the UAPS media and who is... Obviously, a LaSalle alumni. I think plenty of people know that by now. Uh, I'm just very excited to see the UAAP return. I'm very excited to watch Green Archers basketball again. And I'm very excited to see what Coach Derek Pomarin has in store for these Green Archers. Obviously, his track record speaks for itself. It's a track record that has success, which is good for development. And uh, it's been two years since we've had UAP basketball. But before UAP basketball left, yeah, it was pretty evident that the LaSalle community was aching for a return to the old days, which Coach Derek mentioned about pride, about fighting for the green and white, about um, just having the Palaban LaSalle attitude. And I believe Coach Derek is in the right track in terms of recruitment and mindset to bringing the green archers back to a place they used to be at, which is constant success. Thank you very much, Naveen. Thank you very much, Coach Derek. It's, uh, Animal Magazine is, is really honored to have you in this Zoom meeting. Uh, we wish you well. We'll see you in, 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 in the games. And rest assured that the whole community, young and old, will be behind you all the way. Animo La Sal. Animo, thank you, thank you, thank you. Animo La Sal, thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye, oh, thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you. Thank okay. you, Albert. Uh, Thank you, Nabeen. See you. Stay yeah. safe, Thank guys. You,